Hi, this is Amy, and this is Smarter Gmail, and today we're going to do Lesson 7. And Lesson 7 is about, let me scroll down a little bit, a wonderful tool that I love called Boomerang. So let's go ahead and install Boomerang. So we're going to open up a new tab in our Chrome browser and search for Boomerang or BoomerangGmail.com. You can just go straight there, and you are going to click Install. Now, I already have Boomerang installed, so I've already got it in my account, but I want you to go ahead and install it. And um, you may even want to close your browser and reopen it to make sure it's there. So go ahead and do that. Click pause on this video and then come back when you get that installed. So we're going to look at the two different ways that Boomerang works. The first way it works is to send a message later. This is so incredibly cool. So let me tell you a story about how cool this can be. Let's say that you have a group of people you work with, and I do. My group of people are called the iTechs, Instructional Technology Specialist in my district. And let's say that um, we're all in a meeting right now, and we want to remember that on, we want to say, don't forget that on May 3rd, we need to fill in the blank, whatever it is. On May 3rd, don't let us forget to do this. So now I'm going to send later, this is boomerang in action here, and our date that we want to remember something on is May 3rd, and maybe this is something that needs to be done first thing in the morning, so let's do 7.29 a.m., and then I'm going to hit confirm, and you see up here at the top, message will be sent on Friday, May 3rd at 7.29 a.m. Now, what if I change my mind between now and then? I can go into the Boomerang Outbox in my Gmail account that's automatically going to be created when you use this service and I can find that mail and I can change it. I can change anything I want to about it. I can get rid of it. I can do whatever I want to with it in here. So it's not like you know this is you're stuck and you have to do it and all that kind of stuff so I can confirm it I can get rid of it I can whatever so there it is don't don't stress another way that you might want to use this is if you wake up in the middle of the night and it seems like the best idea you ever had to email your boss all of the um, all of the ways that you think he slash she could be doing a better job so you type it all up and then you think, well, you know, I've promised myself that after 11 p.m. I'm really going to use Boomerang. Just go ahead and do that. Send later, mark it for 9 o'clock in the morning, give yourself time to think about it. And then if you still think it's a good idea at 9 o'clock in the morning, we'll let it go out. And if you don't, you know how to go into that folder and delete that message because you should delete that message. That's probably never a good idea. So let's talk about the next way that we can use Boomerang. Let's just pretend that you have sent this email off for someone else to take care of it. Let's say that um, you are hoping with your best heart that this person takes care of this email, but you don't really know if they're going to. Here's another way you can use it. You can check this little box down at the bottom that says boomerang this in two days if no reply. So let's say you're sending this off to your coworker, you know, Johnny Smart, and let's just make this realistic. And you really need him to um, please check with um, Mary Smith about the AC for this summer. I live in Texas, that's a big deal. You better check on the AC before this summer, very big deal. So let's say that you're expecting Johnny to email you back, but you know that he's not always fast on that email and he may not read this until it's too late. So you're going to have this come back into your inbox in two days if no one replies to it. And let's look at what our triggers are. So in two days, we can do four days, a week, two weeks, a month, or whatever specific date and time. So maybe you can type up here, um, please reply by tomorrow at 4 to let me know you got this, etc. So you can set that up, and you can set all of these 
settings right here. I like if no reply because really you're never going to know for sure if they clicked it for sure if they opened it. You can just have it come back regardless of what happens in two days. It returns to your inbox and you can take care of it and make sure that Johnny Smart got that AC all set up. So you send it, those triggers are set. Now you do have a limited number of free boomerangs that you can use. It's 10 a month and it will recharge each month. Um, I actually pay for this service. It's really so fantastic for me. I use it almost every day. So if you want to pay for it too, um, the nice people at Boomerang, here's their company name down at the bottom. Um, don't tell them I told you this, but they might give you a discount if you talk to them and explain to them that you're an educator. So didn't come from me, but I'm just saying that they gave me a great one and um, they're really nice to work with. So try out Boomerang and if you're an educator you might ask for a discount and if not just go ahead and pay the money because it's really worth it. An awesome service. Thanks, have a great day, and I hope you learned something new.